Last night we talked about North Korea and we talked about the assassination and the death of Kim Jong-un's half-brother. Um, CNN is reporting, uh, actually, the Washington Post also is re- reporting that the woman in the uh, closed-circuit television image has been arrested in connection with the death of uh, Kim Jong-un's half-brother. This is according to Malaysian police. Uh, if you've seen the image of this, and just kind of as an aside, um, who said it? Somebody said it earlier, but it seems as though Kim Jong Un troll game was on 100 because the woman who is there was two women, but the woman who has been captured, um, she was captured on an image and a video image and on her shirt in the airport after having poisoned uh, Kim Jong Nam, um, her shirt said LOL. I, I'm sorry. That's that's this is a terrible story. I, it's, it's horrible when anyone dies, but uh, it does seem like Kim Jong Un was trolling the hell out of uh, everybody, but particularly his brother. Um, so he was traveling on a fake passport in a uh, route to Macau. Uh, one woman grabbed his arm, and the other old woman sprayed liquid in his face, and then held a cloth over it for ten seconds. Um, they were in the check check in area and no one nearby seemed to notice. Uh, so inside the terminal, Kim Jong Nam was said he was feeling dizzy and apparently unable to see. He stumbled into one of the car counters seeking help. Uh, and as we discussed last night, they took him to a clinic and, uh, and after taking him to the clinic, they tried to get him to a hospital, but he died en route to the hospital. Uh, so the one woman was detained in Malaysia's Kuala Lumpur airport, international airport. Uh, she was carrying a Vietnamese travel document. Investigators are awaiting the result of an autopsy uh, of his body. Uh, Kim is believed to have been poisoned, according to South Korea's National Assembly Intelligence Committee. Uh, but it has not been absolutely confirmed. We probably will have some confirmation before you watch this clip on tomorrow. Police said the North Korean diplomats uh, tried to stop the autopsy, insisting that the body be released to them. Uh, a Malaysian police of- official told local reporters uh, only that the poison was, quote, more po- potent than cyanide, but declined to say exactly what it was. What's interesting? Well, there's a lot of interesting about this story, not only the intrigue and it's, it sounds like something out of a spy novel. Um, but what's interesting is that it, historically, whenever there's a dynastic um, regime change, right, not even a regime change, but particularly uh, the, the passing of the baton from a father to a son, um, histor- you can see throughout history where the brothers would kill each other and it, whoever was left um, was either the king or the person who was appointed king. Uh, would kill all of his brothers, you know, whichever one came first, depend on the particular circumstance. Um, And this seems to be the case with at least that's the speculation. Right. Um, And you have to ask yourself, you know, you know, Kim Jong Nam, he was in Malaysia. He was trying to he was trying to get away from North Korea. It looks to me that he had no no desire to, you know, usurp his brother's authority. But, I mean, this is almost like biblical. I, you, you, you see, you know, stories throughout history where they hunt you down no matter where you are. And if you are a threat to the throne, um, you, you die. And I think this might be underscored by the fact that Kim, Kim Jong-nam had a more cozy relationship, let's call it like that, uh, with China. Uh, that he, China, he was the preferred um, heir um, to the Chinese government. So in a way, regardless of whether or not Kim Jong-nam, de, he, you know, directly posed a threat to his brother, um, the fact that he had a better relationship with China could be the reason that they hunted him down in Malaysia. And um, allegedly, because all of this is speculation, um, assassinated him.